So how you move is how you broadcast yourself to the world. And that is how you show up at the gym, how you show up at work, how you posture yourself throughout the day. The other day I was working with someone who came in because of tension headaches and cervicogenic headaches, kind of that crossover headache, neck pain. And she also had a history of anxiety and depression. And when she showed up, she she's sitting in the chair talking to me and her position is like this. And when your position throughout the day is like this, this can be because of work-related postures, but it can also be because of your disposition, how you're showing up in the world. And someone who has depression and anxiety, they often show up um, in this sort of rejected, dejected away from the world position. They're they're almost hiding their body away. Now, back in high school, I was less confident in myself and I and I was trying to feel cool. And so I weight trained a lot. And I was often in this position where I would hang out and talk to people where my shoulders would draw forward. They'd roll into an internal rotation position. And that's how I would how I would kind of hang out and move. Because of that, then that led to a whole bunch of issues with my, with my skeletal structure because I was always here. Now, at the same time, if you see that guy at the gym who kind of walks around like this, maybe that's a little too much confidence. I think the best way to show up is kind of in a relaxed manner where you're in a good posture, but your body is, you you have a freedom or a flowing type of movement to yourself. So a strong postural position where the shoulders are nice and relaxed, your head is on top of your body, the core is holding your spine upright. So it looks like you're showing up to the world, but without um, being kind of overly arrogant or overly tense about your position. So. Uh, something to think about is when you see when you're working with people and you see what posture they show up in, that likely relates back to their habits, their their uh, personality disposition, and all of those things are going to interplay into how well you can get the or how you can get them better, or how their current symptoms are are relating to their overall presentation of how they view themselves, how they view the world. So that's something that I think about a lot when I'm talking with people too, is to make sure that I'm in a strong, you know, I'm in a confident position because I'm here to help them. So how you move is going to relate to how you broadcast yourself to the world.